We now move on to Zolder for the Belgian Grand Prix. The qualifying session is dominated by Laudus Ferrari, who is on pole, only four hundredths ahead of Carlos Pace. Rambia and Regazzoni are on the second row. Pace made the best start, but Lauda won't let him break away. He wants to recover what he considers his, of course, his first place. He's close behind the Brazilian as Brambria follows behind. On lap four, Brambilla takes the lead, but suffers problems with his brakes. On lap six, Nicky Lauda finally takes the lead. Behind the Austrian, Schechter and Brambilla try to resist. By the end of the race, the Ferrari team seemed concerned. Strange noises are coming from Lauda's engine. The Tyrrell team thinks it's time to speed up the pace, and Uncle Ken personally pushes Jody Schechter, second to claim first place. been a disastrous race for Lotus. Peterson misses the chicane and retires on lap 37. Jackie X retires too on lap 52 after brake problems. Fittipaldi is struggling with Depaillet for fourth place. At the end of the race, positions don't change a lot. Lauda's engine finally makes it to the line, and the Tyrrell team are happy with Schechter in second place. Reutemann is third, Depaillet fourth, Regazzoni fifth, Price sixth, Fittipaldi seventh. It's not in the points, and Lauda takes the lead in the World Championship after his second victory in the season. He will pad this lead two weeks later in Sweden with another victory in front of Reutemann and Ragazzoni. At half season, the Austrian driver is first with 32 points, 10 more than Reutemann, second, and 11 ahead of Fittipaldi.